welcome back to my vlog. It's Jenna's vlog again. This is Jenna Nindotari at your service. So for today's vlog, I will be talking about the theories of intelligence. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go! So, by the way, what is intelligence? So, according to Merriam-Webster, intelligence is the ability to learn or understand or to deal with new or trying situations. So, different researchers propose a different theories of intelligence. And this intelligence explains the points of view of the psychologist on intelligence. So the first theory is Sperman's general intelligence, which was proposed by a British psychologist, Charles Spursman. So this theory explains that an intelligence is a general cognitive ability that can be measured and numerically expressed. And that means that general intelligence is explaining that it is an overall study or understanding on cognitive ability. Next is Thurston Primary Mental Abilities. This was proposed by psychologist Louis L. Thurston. This theory explains or focused on primary mental abilities that could also be used for learning. Next is Gardner's Theory of Multiple Intelligence, and this proposed by Howard Gardner. And this focus on intelligence and based on abilities that are valued in different cultures. Examples for this is the body kinesthetic abilities, intelligence, and more. Next is Sternberg's theoretic theory of intelligence that was proposed by Robert Sternberg. This theory explains that intelligence is also shaping in real world environments and that was relevant to one's life. This theory involves of different factors like analytical intelligence and more. Next is cattle horn fluid versus crystallized intelligence that was proposed by Raymond Cattell and was fully developed by John Horn. This theory explains that intelligence is composed of numbers of different abilities that could interact with each other. Next is David Perkins Research on IQ and this proposed by David Perkins. Theory views and the IQs of every learners. This also measure the IQ of learners and also the designs. The dimensions of this theory helps explain the level of intelligence. Next is Vernon's hierarchical theory. This proposed by Philip Vernon. This theory views the intellectual abilities. This theory also involves the Spurman's and Thurston theory. Taking all into account the theories that I mentioned can help you determine what kind of an intelligence rather you have in your life. And those theories also can help you think that intelligence is really important, especially in learnings. So I am done discussing the different theories. So thank you for listening. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video, bye-bye.